Hi friends, Lindsay here from Diary of a Homeschool Mama, and today I wanted to share with you my final review of The Good and the Beautiful Arthropods Science Unit. Um, we absolutely love, love, love this curriculum. It was such a breath of fresh air from the other curriculums that we had tried to use through the year. A lot of you know our struggle with science was very real for this school year, and um, the last few weeks of school, we decided to do this unit study, and it was honestly the perfect fit for us. We had so much fun. Um, we got to do a lot of different things with it. One of the things that we got to do that was really cool was during our B unit, we got to make honey candy. Um, it came with a recipe for that, so that was awesome, and my kids really enjoyed doing that. Um, the next thing that I really, really loved about this were the mini books. Uh, these were great. They, these were a great addition to the program. Um, they have tons of, of information in them and my kids were like captivated by all of this. I don't know if any of you use the good and the beautiful science can let me know if your kids were like super into it because my kids have never been this into a curriculum before, like any, um, science, math, anything like this was the first curriculum that I found that they really, really loved. Um, and I don't know what it is about it, but I loved it too. So here is the table of contents. I'm not going to do a major flip through with this because I do actually have one on my channel. So I will link that below. But I do love how they give all the supplies needed for each week. That is great. Um, this unit didn't have a whole lot of supplies. Some of the other units have a little bit more. But I found a really cool... Um, like sister company to the good and the beautiful it's toolboxes for teaching i believe is what it's called but you can actually go on there and get um boxes for each unit of all the supplies you need besides like a few things like some of them obviously they don't have like the food items or anything like that that you would need but majority of what you need is in that box so it's really awesome and they're really really well priced so i highly recommend that if you plan on using the good and the beautiful science for next school year um, so anyway, they also give optional read aloud storybooks. We actually didn't get a chance to go to the library and use any of these, but next year when we are using the good and the beautiful science again, um, I will definitely be making trips to the library and getting some books to go with it. Um, I'm just going to look, give you a look into the first lesson. Um, my very favorite thing about this was the science wall with the vocabulary. I feel like that really helped my kids to learn what certain things were. Um, like my youngest son, he's like obsessed with the word exoskeleton now, um, which was in this unit. And one day he was running around with a pillow saying he had an exoskeleton on his back and he's cold butted. So he learned that from this and he really, um, it all really stuck with him. Like any other science that we had tried to do, it just wasn't sinking in and it wasn't really, um, nothing was a good fit. We tried a couple different things and just nothing really worked for us. The next thing that I really, really, really loved about this was the science journals. And actually I'm going to be doing a whole separate video to show you guys how I set up their science journals, especially since we'll be doing more units with the good and the beautiful in the future. But the science journal was awesome. Um, there was a lot of of options to draw things in this. So my youngest son really loves to draw. And so this was like right up his alley. Um, there was drawing for like the vocab words so that he can go back and see what they mean by just looking at a picture on um, that kind of thing. So it was awesome. And we really loved that part of it. And another thing that I really loved is the lesson extensions for older children that this, this says grades seven to 12. But my Oldest son, he was in fourth grade this year. He did do some of the lesson extensions for this, which were great um, just to get, get him thinking about some extra things to go along with this. And I thought it was really awesome to have that option. So, yeah, I'm really excited about this. If you can't tell, we really, really loved it. And then another thing that I absolutely loved was the beautiful pictures in this. I never thought I would say that about um, a curriculum about bugs, but there are some seriously beautiful images in this curriculum. Sorry, let me try to get to some more. I want to show you guys some more of the awesome pictures that were in here. Let's see. Let 
if I can ever find them. <laughs> this one doesn't have a whole lot of pictures, but the marine biology unit that I just got in the mail to use next year is gorgeous. I mean, seriously, so gorgeous. Like, I don't even know where they get these pictures from, but they're beautiful. I don't know if they have somebody like go out and get the pictures or if they just use like Google pictures, but they're so pretty. Um, here's a good example. Like the pictures are just really awesome, which you'll see more of that when I show you guys the marine biology unit. Um, but yeah, so that's pretty much all I have to say. I just wanted to give you guys my final review of this curriculum. I know some people were curious if it was something that I would use again. So the answer is for sure I would use this again, and we are actually going to be using it next school year for my youngest. Um, my oldest loved this too, so I did tell him that he could join in for some of the lessons if he wanted to, because um, he will be using elemental science. So um, yeah. That is all I have to say, and I thank you guys so much for watching. In the comments below, I would love to hear what's, what science curriculum you are using with your students this year and what curriculum you're thinking about using for next year. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys later.